I am Chris Palmer with ChrisPalmerMarketing.com and in today's video, I want to share with you my exact process when I am doing a competitive analysis. When I'm looking at the competition for a specific keyword, I'm looking at the competitors, I'm trying to figure out exactly how many backlinks, how potent of backlinks and what anchor text they're using. I'm going to walk you through and give you my sheet of exactly how we do it so we can dominate and get search rankings on Google and other search engines. Now, if you don't want to do this, the step-by-step -step process and use our sheet and you just want us to do it for you and you just want to hand it off down below, I'm going to put a calendar link, book time of a calendar, get on the calendar. We could do it all for you and make sure that you have the best success possible. Go ahead and book below. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and walk through step-by-step -step on how you can go about doing this for yourself. Now, what you're looking at here is you're going to be seeing this sheet. Now you can line this up for yourself. I'll also put, uh, you can get this sheet or just line it up for yourself. This is Google sheets. What we have here is we have the client client means your website. All right. So what is the amount of referring domains on the page that you have? Like, where are you currently at? What is the baseline? We're talking about referring domains. That's what's here. Okay. That's client primary keyword is the keyword. What keyword are we targeting? What's the location? Are we going for broad or are we doing a location modifier? This makes a difference. Next is your competitor number one, number two, and number three, as you can see here, one, two, three. What we're tracking here is, well, how many referring domains do they have? All right. This is the anchor text of those backlinks. So are they just using the URL or are they using a specific text? And then of course the averages or the number that we're going to build that goes in the very last piece here. Now you're going to need some tools in order to complete this successfully. All right. A lot of times what we utilize is we'll use more than one tool in order to get more of a, you know, a, I like to have more than one, one view, right? So sometimes we'll utilize Ahrefs and SEMrush, but for this video, we'll be utilizing SEMrush. And if we're doing location modification, all right, we utilize a tool called the Valentin app. So this allows you to change your location, right? So if I'm working with a client and they're in Iowa or Houston or Florida, I can go ahead and be there as well, at least when I'm searching. All right. Cause I want, I need to see what they're seeing. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an example together. All right. And again, if, if you don't want to do this and you would just want us to do it and take care of the links for you, there's a link below. All right. So here we go. So let's go inside of here. So we're going to look for car accident lawyer. All right. Now this is just an example. All right. I'm not targeting car accident lawyers in Houston. Like it's just an example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that I am searching from Houston, right? So this is the Valentin app. I'm searching from Houston. And let's say that I am this particular website right here. I am this particular site here. Let, I'm not, this is just an example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this particular page and I need to set the baseline, the client, the page that you want to win. Where are you at currently? How many referring domains and what's the power of those domains? So what you want to do inside of SEMrush, all right, is we're going to pull in that page and we're going to take a look. Hey, I want to win car accident lawyer in Houston. Well, where am I at? So here's what we do. We come in here to the backlink analytics inside of SEMrush. So we'll click on that and we'll search for this specific page to see where the client is or see where yourself is at. Okay. So this is what we're doing. We can see we're going to go over here to referring domains, backlink analytics, then referring domains. All right. So now what we're looking for here is we want to see a particular authority score because not all links are created equal, right? So each tool has a different barometer, like Ahrefs used as DR, Majestic uses Trustflow, SEMrush uses authority score. Okay. So we're looking for stuff that is at least, at least a 30. All right. Lately though, I've been looking at 25s as well because they've changed the way they do their searches, right? SEMrush. SEMrush has changed the way they grade backlinks. So we're looking at authority score 25 to 100. Anything that's at least a 25 to 100, how many do we have? So we have 14 referring domains that are 25 to 100. So we have 14 pretty good links. All right. Now the next element that we need to look at is the anchor text. So out of those links, what anchor text am I using? So I can see here that a lot of them are going to be exact match. They're using emojis and then they're using naked. 
but I could see a lot of different variants here that are, you know, Houston automotive, automobile, right? They're using the variations, right? This is clever, but not always recommended, right? We, we want to usually stay as safe as possible. Brand, a little bit of uh, keyword specific, but in this case, we have a lot that is right on the money with exact match keywords, and we know that we have 14 relatively good referring domains. So what we want to do here is we want to put our baseline inside of the actual sheet. So let's go ahead and do that together, all right? So we're going to come back out here to our sheet client, which is your website, we know that we have 14 referring domains. All right. And then what I just, what I like to do is I just like to put uh, exact match keyword. All right. So the EMK is just an internal thing. This is what I do. Like those 14, like looking at the anchor text, like they're already heavy on exact match. Remember inside the tool, I looked at the anchor text, like we're already heavy on that. And we have 14 decent links. So now the primary keyword, as we already established, it is car accident lawyer, all right? So it's car accident lawyer searching from Houston, right? So it's car accident lawyer, the location modifier is Houston, okay? And now we need to start looking at the competition's backlinks. Now we're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna look, okay, well, let's take a look at this particular website. We're gonna copy the link address, okay? We're gonna go here. That's one, two, I, I like to look at all three of them, okay? So this is gonna give us an idea of where we need to be. So let's take a look at this particular page. We're gonna come inside of here, control V. So now I've taken the website or the web page that is precisely ranking for the term that I wanna win. And I need to determine, well, where are they at? So we can see the anchor text. See, they're not doing the exacts, it's just empty, right? Now this is not, a extraordinary amount of backlinks by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but now we're going to sort by authority score. Remember 25 to hundred. Okay. So 25 and up. So we have 14, the top players at 20. All right. So this was the number three guys or, or number three company, I should say. So this is number 20. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the anchor text. And again, uh, it's empty but they, have, they do have a variation, so they made it more natural. They put car accident, so they are going pretty heavy on exact, but they have 20, okay? So now we're going to go back to our sheet. We'll mark for competitor number one. We know that we have 20. Competitor number two, let's go ahead and take this. This is the Forbes. Now, Forbes is a huge site, but that doesn't mean that they've spent equity on that internal page. They have a lot of overall authority, but what about that specific page? You know, with proper optimization and proper linking with proper anchor text and surrounding text, this doesn't mean that you don't have a chance. You do, right? Forbes isn't number one. They're number two. So they're, it's achievable. Now, this is just an example. So let's go ahead and put this in. So now we have our Forbes page. We're going to do the same exact process. Put that specific page in, and I need to go out there and see. Well, let's take a look at their overall referring domains going to that page within range, 19. Let's sort by authority, 25 and up. Okay. Wow. So they're actually... There's none in the 25 range, so they're all lower quality. 10. Wow. So they're lower quality. Uh, they're lower than the 25 mark. So they're winning a lot off of their overall authority. But pointing to this page overall is what? 20. There's only 20 total, right? So they had none yet, right? But they had a couple. So I would still mark a little something here. I would still say, okay. Like, this is what I would do. I would still mark 19. Even though they didn't fit the power criteria, I would still mark that. So we're going to go to number three, uh, or in this case, it's actually the number one person, I believe. Attorney Gus, Forbes. Okay, and then we had, uh, this is the number three person. All right. One, two, three. All right, so let's take a look at them, and let's see what they're working with. All right. So this particular term, what this is telling me right now, when the bottom person or number 10 ranker is sitting at number 10, 
with essentially an exact match domain. And we have 14 referring domains. It's within range, right? What this is telling me when we're at the very bottom is either A, the site or the page isn't old enough or your on page is off. That's what this is telling me from this backlink competitive analysis, right? Like, yes, you could probably build a couple more links, right? And we're going to see right now if this, incre this particular site increases our overall percentage or average. But it looks to me that it's either an age or an on-page issue because the linking, you're already in line. Like, you have enough links that are of the right quality. You see what I'm saying? So this is probably not a backlink issue. But this is probably an issue is an on-page or an age or a page age issue, right? So we're looking at this, we're going to click the 25 mark. And this is just one example, but what I'm trying to do here and, and what I am doing here is I'm walking you through the process of how you determine what your keyword is, how you choose your location or change your location if you have to, find your leading competition and then come up with an actual precise amount, an average of a, a game plan of exactly what you need to do and what anchor texts to utilize. So here we have three again, right? So this is three. So if if we have a 20 and 19 and a three, in, in my humble opinion for this particular, this is, this is the exact, we're already clear right here. Like I'm just, I would, in, in my opinion, I, I'm not looking here for the exact average, but if the number one person has 20, number two has 19, competitor three had three decent links, but remember 14 links overall. I have 14, they're all exact match. In my opinion, after doing this competitive analysis for this specific term, it tells me that if number 10 was my client, if this was my account, this one right here, uh, oh, I thought it was an exact match. That's my mistake. It's not. It's either this is a newer site or a new page or or their on page needs a lot of work. So that's another day, another video, but I can almost guarantee that their on page isn't tuned right. They should be up in here because they have the right amount of links. They have the right anchor text, but it's either age or their on page is off. I hope this has been helpful. I hope I've been able to walk through exactly, okay, here's where we're at. Here's the primary keyword we want to target. Here's the location we want to target. Here's the referring domains that we want to target. And then here's the anchor text that's being utilized by the competitors. And then what's our average? How many should we have? This gives us our game plan of how many we need to build, if any. Or if it's something that we need to go and look at another service. Maybe there's other aspects that we're missing, like in this particular SERP on page, or maybe it's age, or maybe it's internal links, or maybe we need some schema, a video, a social media presence, ads, it could be anything. But in this case, it's not links. My name's Chris Palmer. If you have any questions related to backlink analysis, competitive backlink analysis, backlink building services, if you need backlink building services, there's a link below. Schedule an appointment. I'd love to do this, this backlink analysis for you or with you. It's our pleasure. We'd love to help you out. If you have questions, ask in the section below. And I always look forward to seeing you in the next Backlink Analytics, Backlink Competitive Assessment. This could be called lots of things video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.